I think like, I think that's a long enough. I think that's a a one hundred hour white screen. I think is enough. We'll see. One hundred hours. That's is, uh, oh more than that. I'd be de- I'd be devastated. That's all we had, brother. We have three hundred and something episodes. I meant like left. Oh no, dude. Yeah, right. We got what two, three, three more years until exactly, we die. Exactly, <laughs> dude. What do you think is going to take us out first? Oh man, Co- climate catastrophe. Ah, or just time? No, I don't think it's going to be time. Like old age. I here. Okay, I'll be sincere. Money. Here's why I think I'm going to die. <laughs> You know, you know when you see people like I ah, sucked to death. I, yeah, I'm gonna get fucking blown to, to yeah, pieces. I'm gonna get blown to smithereens, <laughs> brother. You know when you see someone and they're like, "Oh, I went to the doctor because my chest hurt a little bit, and turns out I needed emergency open heart surgery." Yeah, you think that, that's how you're gonna go? I'm never gonna go to a doctor because I'm like, I'm not gonna spend sixty thousand dollars to have a no. fucking asshole shake my hand. I'm gonna drop dead. I'm gonna die because my heart has a weird deficiency. Because it loves too strongly. Yeah. No, and then I'm going to th- wake up. No, it doesn't. Um, I, no, I, I love it so strongly, I can't do it. Yeah, it, okay. I have to be careful. You're like, uh, you have of mice and men I style. Have a, yeah, love. I will you hold love it. so hard. Oh, you. I love you so much. Yeah. And I keep one of my hands in a glove full of Vaseline so I can crank off mm-hmm. with a little more sincerity or whatever the fuck. And take that to the bank. <laughs> take that to the bank and deposit it. <laughs> no, but I'm going to die from a heart thing probably. or you some kind so? of like Some kind of like... It's it's the irony of my life where it's just like, oh, this fucking guy ate, yeah. exercised and ate well. Yeah, but if uh, here's the thing, mm, and I'm no. not gonna go to a doctor. I can't. No, afford it. you're too. You're. It's still it's Travis. It's still travesty now. Oh, because of my age. Yeah, I'm. I'm getting there where it's like, mm, it's hey, like, yeah, all right. Well, you died, man. It's like young man died. Uh, man dies. Man dies. Man dies. A man has died, and that's kind of it. And that's whatever. No family. No children. No wife. Doesn't Let's matter. Move on, dude. I went to the. I went to the park earlier, mm-hmm. and I was like, I got this book that I've had for a while, and I'm the like. Quran. Yeah, well, we've all had that for a while, mm-hmm. <laughs> and 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 we haven't been paying enough attention to it. And we I'll have not that. been paying enough attention to it. It was so funny. Last night I walked past this building, and it had a giant mural, paid like, and it had a big quote, and the quote was attributed to the Prophet Muhammad. No, and I was like, oh, that's really funny. And then I look up, and it's like the Muslim Community Center. I was like, yeah, hey, it makes sense. That actually. makes a lot more sense. Yeah, it makes sense <laughs> than just like uh, than like a KFC, yeah, yeah or yeah. something like with the fucking with a quote from the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, this Dwayne on Reed it. really loves yeah. the Prophet Muhammad. But I went to I was starting to read this book, and I was like, had this book for a while. Didn't really know. It was just one of those ones. I was like, it kind of looks cool. Like the cover looked cool. Yeah, yeah. I think I read the back and I was like, okay, cool. Enough. And then the first chapter is just a a in detail description of a guy finding his wife after she has killed herself. Whoa! And I was just like, I'm in. an autobiography, by the way, real. Oh shit! Okay. Real, real, but not fake. Yeah, real not fiction. book. And Fa- I'm not fiction, fiction is fake. Yes. And I was just like, Jesus yeah, Christ. Buddy. Yeah, I'm like in the park. It's like a beautiful holiday. Everyone's yeah. sitting there with their friends, and I'm sitting there alone, being like, "Am I gonna start weeping? Start crying <laughs> on page seven? Like, man, if if you are man, brutal, and you're going to kill yourself, which I think is totally appropriate. Yeah, I'm not against. I'm not anti-suicide. But I'm f- very much not anti-suicide. I was say pro-suicide. I'm not necessarily pro-suicide. Yeah, but look, you're an adult. Do what the fuck you want. Yeah. Not my. Because I'm pro-abortion, by the way. Huh? Like, I'm not pro light. I'm not pro choice. No, I'm not pro choice. Everyone pro-abortion. should be killed. Yeah. Every baby should be murdered. Yeah. <laughs> Late term. Ev- you every, get every baby that gets that comes to term is a travesty. <laughs> That's my yeah, stance. Absolutely. Uh, that could have been an angel. <laughs> <laughs> this alive baby could have been a fucking angel, dude. This sucks. Oh, man, I gotta what a feed waste. This, I gotta feed this fuck, and it has to have a personality. It's gonna develop some kind of weird no, addiction. Oh my to god, no! You could have been a little card on somebody's. Uh, Sun <laughs> sun visor inside their car instead. Yeah, Dude. but no, you're no, here. No, now you're here. You have to go to school. <laughs> you have to live a full life. I'm gonna save for college. That doesn't disgusting. do anything. Disgusting. But if you are married and you're going to kill yourself, and it's on purpose, you should really do that somewhere else. You should really make sure you're the person you supposedly love, or isn't the person who finds your dead body. Okay, no, he she left. So she left a note. And was like, hey, I went to that field over there and killed myself. Whoa, really? He like literally was like in the house, went on a run, 
Came back, note taped to the front door. She went and fucking killed herself. Wow. Yeah. Gun. Gun. Wow. Huh. Yeah. You, you Okay, you get home from a run. Yeah, already and you I'm go, mad. you go, fucking God damn it, I hate running. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I'm so mad. I hope there's a good protein shake in the fridge. What's this? I hope my wife is alive and the Theragun is charged. <laughs> and, I, and, and, and the order of importance of that is not determined, really. Holy oh, shit, I hope my wife's in the house making Dude. me a, a sandwich because she's alive. Yeah. Um, y- You read the note. Do 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 you think it's a bit? No. Okay. I wouldn't either. No, I don't think because women aren't funny. No, <laughs> fuck no, dude. <laughs> They're my not doing wife's a lot of not suicide fu- bits. My wife's not funny enough to pretend to kill herself. No, no, no. That's pretty high level. Man, that's I'm yeah. putting myself through it, and that's a tough and one. And here's the thing. Here's the here's the br- most brutal kicker. He thought she left him. Like that, she he went on a run, and she's like, "This is my time to go." Before he read the note. Oh, okay. So, so he, he got, sees he, a note taped to the front door from and his just wife. Just seeing the fact that it's a note. note. It has his name on the envelope. His, oh, like, in, okay. In an envelope, name name on there. It's not nailed to the whole thing's not nailed Shh. like Martin Luther. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> honey, what you? Yeah, kill yourself, but don't yeah, put a hole in the goddamn freezer. Get, hey, where'd you get such a big nail? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> one of those old squared off coffin nails from the eighteen forties. But yeah, he goes like, ah, damn it, she left, she me. left me, and that's well, she left sus. us. She left us. Uh, yeah, Earth. Yeah, hmm. we we the people. Because. I, I I have this, and not to make light of some man's tragedy. But why but not? All, why not? I got I got to fill She's time on two dead. podcasts a I? week. <laughs> He's the one who wrote the book. What the fuck am I doing? I didn't write the fucking book about uh, her. Oh, if, if you, because if enough people don't make a travesty of something bad, it comes back. Yeah, it gets undone if no one yeah. makes fun of her. Um, we're not making fun of ah, whatever. Here's the thing, uh, and I see people argue about this online, and I kind of I see a little bit both ways. But like people being mad at someone who kills themselves calling them selfish. Yeah. When I'm like, "Hey, no, you're selfish." That person's why do in I pain. To, why do I have to live this life the why whole do, time? Yeah, why do they yeah. have to live a life that's that's dumb, that it's killing them because it it hurts you if they leave. Yeah. I I don't know. I I But it is cowardly. To what? To not live. Oh, I disagree. To kill yourself I think is cowardly. Oh, I disagree. You're not you can't, you're you can't handle it. You don't want to. So you kill yourself. One of yeah. One of your your DNA's strongest, if not the strongest yeah. desire okay. to kill yourself, to not harm yourself. I think it depends on how you do it. I will I will go ahead and half agree with you. I think making the decision to kill yourself. I've made the decision dozens of the times. I've never done it, <laughs> and you haven't been man enough to do it. No, <laughs> they haven't been man enough to live my fucking life. Oh, it was so day. hard to live See, with your best it friend. Was, it was hard and be all sexy. Yeah, <laughs> now it's not so hard anymore. <laughs> now, it's, now it's pretty. I made cool. the real. I made the real tough decision, which is getting stop shaped. eating fucking uh, an Oreo sandwich between four Doritos oh, all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I sincerely believe I would say you're not cowardly if you like drown yourself. Something so that like tough. your body is. What's like, the most cowardly way to kill yourself? I think gun, because the gun's doing it for you. Hanging yourself is like, and sorry if you tried to kill yourself or whatever. Hey, hey if you're if you ki- hey warning. if you've killed yourself and succeeded <laughs> and you're listening to this, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. hang yourself is ki- is pretty tough. Self immolation is pr- is kind. Here's the thing: it's kind of tough, but also the fire's doing a lot of it. We doing a lot of it. Like yeah, you're, you're, you're talking about to do this. Yeah, sort of dude. Stuff. If you Elliot Smith yourself and fucking stab yourself a million, a bunch yeah, of times, real that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. If you fucking yeah, dude. Also, if you, di- if you dig, if you dig a sword into you, because if I dug a sword a little bit into me, like oh fuck, ow, fuck, yeah. fuck, and I would stop. Also, if you go all the way in and then do kind of like a fucking whatever, they fucking go up and over and around. They just go across. I just go across. Yeah, and it, it pulls out all your organs. Yeah, that's tough. Also, Elliot Smith's girlfriend full of sure killed him. There's no way he stabbed himself a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean. <laughs> but I know what you mean. I, I disagree that shooting yourself with a gun is easy. I think putting yourself there. Hey. That's pretty easy. That No, no, no. That that with no consequence is easy. Well, putting yourself. Wait, okay, fine. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fine. Mind. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, uh, uh. I I th- I think it's not- I think it's the easiest way to do it. I think pills is sleeping pills is like the easy way to That's do it. That's cowardly. Yeah, sleep pills. 
Suicide by Cop is pretty cool. Suicide by Cop is cool, but you gotta like, yeah, that's a, that's a lot. Of, that's like uh, that's like a fucking that's like the Michael Bay of suicides. <laughs> that's like high production value. Oh, a white person trying to suicide by cop it takes forever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> He's giving you a million I don't think chances. Blue lives matter, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I'm your wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a white guy doing suicide by cop. Is yeah, hard. yeah, yeah. You gotta you gotta do cross dressing or something. Yeah, you gotta do blackface, blackface, cross dressing. <laughs> to, <laughs> to suicide by cop yeah, in this country. Yeah, in this yeah, in this fucking hellhole. That's the hardest thing for a white guy to do, other than fucking get some fucking respect around here. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> to be yeah, not yeah, yeah. disrespected. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> All right, so we so we'll we'll agree on sleeping pill pills. Cowardly. Sleeping pills? I don't know. I guess. I it's funny because like, it's so much sleep. Like, yeah, you, you but max you can't do out. chewables. <laughs> yeah. I'd kill myself on vitamin C. Yeah. What about car in the garage? Car in the garage, I respect. Because it takes, it feels like it takes a little while. Like, here's yeah, the Yeah, but you're just sitting in the car. You could be doing the wordle. That's stupid thing. <laughs> <It's such> a... <laughs> you could be doing the wordle. Yeah, but you know you're killing yourself. Yeah, in a way. What do you mean in a way? You 100% know you're killing what yourself. What if you're just like, I love sitting in the car. <laughs> Like then you, you don't do- turn it on. Mm, but then, how's the radio going to work? There's I can't have no, my. No, no. I can't ah. have my. Can't have my Apple CarPlay on. Yes, you can. First of all, cars don't even have keys anymore. <laughs> you have, you have to hit the button a bunch of fucking times to get accessory on. Half push the button. Yeah, you, you, rub the button you're not. This. Yeah, you, you have your key, but you're not hitting the gas pedal or the whatever. brake or whatever. I think the more you have to back out of it, and the more pain. Garage in the car, it doesn't. I don't think it hurts. Yeah, we have like probably two minutes, four minutes. I have no idea how long it takes. Six minutes? I have no I guess idea. Guess the size of the garage. I guess that's a big part of it. And what kind of car you have? If you have well, a Prius, it really takes a long time because yeah, it's, it's a hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> Battery died. Ah! Yeah, you shouldn't kill yourself in a Tesla. Yeah. Oh shit. I um, mean, that's actually that's, actually that's pretty, way easier that's, than most cars. Ironically, the easiest car to kill yourself is an electric car, but. I think the person in the garage button is such an easy it's such an easy way to, to back out of it. Yeah. So to not back out of it, I think takes a lot of courage in a way. Yeah, but what about like a noose? That's That's tough, tough as shit. Yeah. To noose, make one, first of all. First we gotta make it and you gotta find a really good chair. You gotta find a good chair to go out on. Here's the thing though. You don't wanna knock over a togo and it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing. I'm trying to think of like where I could kill myself in the house. I got no exposed beams. This house is not you can't it's really hard to kill yourself in a New York City apartment. Yeah, I've tried I thought about killing you in here, but not. Yeah, killing but that's myself. so easy to kill me. You just get a hammer and I, I don't you don't have to hang off anything. Um yeah, it'd be a tough one. I mean, we had a pull a bar in the Yeah, you hang yourself <laughs> up there. I've knocked that thing off walking under it. Ain't no way I can kill myself on it. Yeah, too hard of a breeze will knock it down. Yeah, um, yeah. There's no. You have to kill yourself in like a beautiful lost space in Soho, and then if you have access to that, access it's like, to what's that? the point of killing yourself? Why are you doing? You have that? a pretty good life. Probably hang out with a bunch of sluts. Bunch of sluts. That's a real, real male and female. Mm-hmm. Every gender slut. Mm-hmm. Man, but, uh, this drink is blue. Yeah, blue drink, man. That's awesome. Yeah. What's more refreshing than blue? Not red. I'll tell you that. Red feels dehydrating. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's rank the colors by hydration. Blue, feeling. first of all. Blue is up there for sure. Teal. I have that Gatorade in the fridge. What is that? Glacier it's Freeze? It's a phenomenal... Yeah, it's G- Glacier Freeze. Dude, I, it's- I didn't even have to look at the label. I knew by the hue. Um, and I'm colorblind. And That's color. how much of a Gatorade scholar I yeah, am. Yeah, dude. You can't OD Glacier on Gatorade. Freeze. I'll tell you that right now. You can't. Uh-uh. Oh, my God. I have too many electrolytes. My and joints now, are- all of a sudden, I'm flying. Yeah, my joints are working too smoothly. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my glacier's frozen. No, teal's very refreshing. White. White is not refreshing. Okay. Milk, milky. Milky. Does not. No, milk no, is no, not. You're right, milk you're right. is not hydrating to me. I milk, really like that milk flavor. could be. I hate cherry, and I hate that it's flavor. Cherry flavored. Yeah. It's great. It's medicine. Oh, all right. You always do. It's medicine. You, you make cherry medicine. You cherry, cherry, cherry is medicine. I guess I, I didn't have that much mer- medicine as a kid. That it did. That, did that, yeah, that, you told me, but you had a fucking grub in your leg for like a long time. You had the Grub Street diet going on <laughs> in, your, in your fucking leg. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm got. I'm a. I'm a bookworm in my leg. Yeah. Oh, um, that's the only time there's been a bookworm in your mm-hmm. body. Um. Okay. So blue. Yeah. Bl- well, well, blue is number one. I think. Do you think teal is in blue? If we're talking, or. But it's a different color, and there's different beverages. Like if we're gonna make it simple, like what the fr- primary colors, like just mm, the, the yeah, okay. Because in my head, if you got, if I was like, give me a blue Gatorade, and you got me that Glacier Freeze, 
I guess I wouldn't be upset. You wouldn't be upset. Be like, that's not what I asked. That's for. not what I upset. Yeah, I, if I said one of the blue Gatorades, yeah, that'd be a very strange request. Be, yeah. <laughs> but you know, that is my favorite flavors. I get a text that says, "Get me one of the blue Gatorades." Can you get me one? Uh, uh, any of the family of blue Gatorades? Yeah, yeah like, I'd be like, you know what, dude? Yeah, I got you. But yeah. it's a funny way of asking. Yeah, any of the blue Gatorades, I would take. Uh huh. Yeah. So blue teal. Teal. Lime? The, the, that color? Yellow? The, the yellow color? Yeah, lemon lime. It's pretty refreshing. Yeah. Yellow w- yellow and orange feel. I put orange a little bit lower for some reason. Orange is why. sick. Orange is because you're sick. Orange is medicine. Orange is medicine. Yellow Again. is hydration. Orange is medicine. There you go. What's red? Red is, is blood. <laughs> blood. It's all blood. Because it's, it's if I'm sweating, if I'm like at the gym. Yeah, red feels thicker. It does. It you're you're a hundred percent right. <laughs> it's insane how right you are. Red feels thicker than like it, yellow or orange. It red or, or sorry, pardon me. Blue is so thin. It's quick. It, whew, it goes down your throat so fast. Oh my god, I'm hydrated. And I'm Holy hydrated. shit, I'm hydrated. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> it's I'm insane. at a hundred percent right oh now. Oh my fuck, I'm overloaded. Yeah, dude. In, at the gym at, at the Williamsburg MMA, we have Gatorades. Yeah, and uh, red's heavy. I will it's like always drinking a jar of marinara sauce. Yeah, I'm always reaching for blue or, or teal. Yeah, of course. That's what I want first. Yeah, of course. Hmm. What other colors are there? Purple. Oh, Riptide Rush. Delicious. I don't know if I feel hydrated. Uh, I think I think because it's a muted purple. I do. Like it's like a watered down. It's purple. like Prince Purple. Oh, you know, it is Prince Purple, really and I think is. that's why I like it so much. Yeah, because my favorite. Gatorade flavor of all time, I think is Riptide Rush. Whoa, Riptide Rush. It's Riptide Rush or this fucking teal bad boy that I have in the Glacier front. Freeze. I fucking love this fucking guy. Yeah, man. This those fucking are, guy's all over those, me right Those now. fucking guys are awesome, dude. I, are, I keep buying, I bought a eight pack from across the street. Eight pack? Yeah. I play hockey. No, and, I'm saying six or 12. It's a strange number, right? Yeah. Uh, it's not on you, is it? Hot dogs? <laughs> 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 I guess it's like if you want, if you want to go one to one hot dog to Gatorade and you put that... That's how I live my life. I yeah, but you put each dog in the in a Gatorade bottle. Dude, I meal never, prep. Every, yeah, I do. I'm like, oh, there's my one oh. Gatorade and hot dog alarm. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to live a life. Um, but I bought them. Like, oh, I'll have, I'll take one to my hockey game on Wednesday. One a week, no big deal. Eight you'd in have four for, days. You thought you'd have them for eight weeks. <laughs> You thought you'd have that for eight weeks? One, one week. You thought you would never once be like, I got it. <laughs> the, in the house? You thought you would buy it and almost a full calendar <laughs> season would pass yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the Gatorades. One hockey game a week, which yeah. is actually don't even have two hockey games usually. Yeah. And you've never gotten thirsty at all, mm-mm, ever. Mm-mm. And I was like, you know what? How about eight in 48 hours? Yeah, that's awesome, dude. And I'm like, I could buy as many Gatorades as I want. I don't have children or a dude. wife that's going to kill herself. Dude, yeah, <laughs> dude. My wife is alive and in somewhere else. I don't know. I never met her. She's gone. She's gone. And I'm back on. I gave myself one 12-pack of soda. I gave myself a... What do you mean you're back on? Were you off? Yeah. Why? Um, why? Just, just, Tell me why right now. Just giving myself a break from it. That's all it is. What are you trying to fucking regain your soda tolerance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't hitting me the way it used yeah, to. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't. I, I want to rekindle the fire between me and Diet or, or Diet. Dr. Pepper Zero. Dr. Pepper. Okay. I like taking things away from myself. I, I've noticed you I have really, so little. I know. <laughs> um, Insane. I got. I took, I, I took three weeks off. Yeah. I got myself one 12 pack. I'm going to take another three weeks off. That's crazy, dude. That's insane. I'm all disciplined, baby. It's like you it's like you use soda like the opposite of birth control, where they have it's three weeks of medicine and one of placebo pills. Mm. So you have one week of soda and then three weeks of awful, terrible life. Uh-huh. Well, soda's not too bad. I'll right. say this. I need to I need to say something. Oh, sorry. On the podcast. No, no, you can you can I just I need to get something off my chest. Go right ahead. So hope it's an awful shirt. It's not. First of all, this shirt's a great shirt. I'm sorry. First of all, this shirt is fucking (laughs) awesome. You've no. Can you? I complimented it when you got it. I love the shirt. It's a good. Can you apologize to them for lying, everyone? If you're not, if you're, if you're listening, hi, I'm Diego. Uh, I'm half of the podcast. And I'm Michael Bruce. We have Michael Bruce. We have a podcast. And we're best friends. And we're best friends. We live together and we we love each other. And I apologize for making fun of Mike's shirt. Thank you. No, I don't. You you can make fun of my shirt. Don't don't lie. Don't apologize for lying to them about how. Yeah, you don't like it. Okay, I love the shirt. Yeah. I'm just um, jealous. I wish I had. Yeah, that's fine, and that's fine. There's not a lot to be jealous of of me. The shirt is is one of them, but so I have 
in the past mm-hmm. on this podcast proclaimed my dislike for Dr. Pepper. Yeah, you have. I, and mostly I just say that it's the white trash soda. Yes. It's, it's, the, just, secret that, that tra- it's the secret white trash soda. I don't love it, though. I can't drink, like, my favorite sodas I can drink more than one of. Yeah. Dr. Pepper, I cannot. But the other day, it was really hot out. I was riding my bike a lot. Mm-hmm. And I was given an ice cold can cool. of Diet Dr. Pepper. Yeah. And it what it it hit. It hit. It hit. It hit. It it has to be ice cold in a can, mm-hmm. and I have to be on the verge of dehydration. Fair. But that was it. I didn't want more. Yes. I didn't. I didn't. Does I wasn't like I should get more. I was like, oh, that hit. Sometimes it that hits, was good uh, when when something hits the spot and doesn't do overdo the spot. Yeah. What's more beautiful than that? It was and exactly. Me, I kind of almost wish it was the little can. Oh. That would have been even better for me. And let me just applaud you. Yeah. For being a big man. Yeah. Because it takes a big man to admit when he is, is wrong. It's a, I don't it's even a, know. But I even wrong is a wrong word. Yeah. Just a you know, I was, dumb I fuck. Think I, was, dumb shit I, fuck. <laughs> I think I was misguided. Not yes. even misguided. Mr. Guided. I was Mr. Guided. <laughs> because I'm cis. Uh huh. I was Mr. Guided. Mr. Guided Tour of the Louvre. That's Louvre. what they call me. Do you think you would ever take one of those headphone tours of a museum? I think I would. If it was free. Yeah. And not very long. Yeah. And I had to use I got to use my own headphones. I don't want to touch I don't want to put French people's headphones on my ears. That's what disgusting. if it's it's not an earbud though? It's over the ear. Oh, all right, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Um I I would I would do it because I'm so not that guy. Yeah. Then I'd be like, hey, man, just fucking be a regular person. Just like You're one on vacation time. with a, uh, by yourself, probably. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think I would, I think I would do it because I think now it's not like a uh, super boring thing. No, I think it's more like here's like you go to a painting or something and it has like a corresponding number to it. Mm hmm. And then you click the number. Oh, okay. That's cool. Okay. And they give you information about it. Instead of you having to walk a specific route. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm not And doing I could that. be making that up because I could have just been like, I wonder if this is a thing that I hope is. it is. I hope it is too. And I if mean, not, now, trademark. Copyright. Copyright, copyright, copyright. Copyright, trademark. Copyright, trademark. Like a little Ours, time incorporated. A little time incorporated. Mike, Mike and Bruce Diego Lopez production. The, yeah. Yes. Um, uh, uh, L.L. Bean. L.L. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> um, there, what was I fucking about to say? The uh, tour thing. Ah oh, man, I had something. I'd be surprised in this day and age with the app technology. Oh, that it's not just you want to take the tour, download the fucking app. Go ahead, buddy. Oh. You go walk up to the pic, the painting. You press a QR code. It tells you, you know, this artist. If is I a go to a, if I go into a museum, a beautiful museum, mm-hmm. and there's a bunch of QR codes around. I'm gonna be furious. Really? Yeah, I hate them. I you really hate, do. I hate to see them. Even if it makes the experience better, even if they're small. Yes, because it takes away from the experience. Why? Because I'm here to view. I want the most unobstructed view of the art, and I'm going to notice that, and it's going to bother me. Does things do seem to bother you? A lot of things seem to bother <clears throat> me. But especially that kind of thing. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I mean, yeah. Um. Hmm. What if there was? Uh... That's why I like the little talk boy <laughs> looking thing. Feels like it looks like a talk boy to it me. It looks like a little talk boy. Yeah. You hit a button. I'd and love it... to carry the thing that uh, Kevin McAllister carries around. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. One of those. What the fuck was that called? Was it a talk boy? That might have been a talk boy. What was the other? The little one. You know the little one. I'm I know the little. About? I know. I know exactly what you're talking about. It kind of looks like a apostrophe. Yeah. Yeah. Yak back? Yeah, yak back. A yak back? Yeah. Hi, we're 36 and 7 Hey, I'm, ex- I'm exactly as old as you need to be Jesus to reference Christ. that fucking thing. Man, my I'm, life sucks. And we're wanting a talk boy? The Kevin McAllister one. From Home yeah. Alone? Yeah. But that one was more expensive, and there's a pen one. And I was like, how about this? I'm like, yeah, it's close enough. And I'm like playing with them. Like, this fucking thing sucks. Yeah, what was the... It was just a tape recorder. It's just a tape recorder. It's just a tape recorder that a boy used. I was like, me... Me. Yeah, I think maybe you could like change the. Yeah, do like a. Yeah. 
Yeah, you could do that. Okay, well. Whatever. I guess you could have some fun with that. I mean, I did. I remember I, I had the, the talk boy pen while we were in Columbia one of the times. I'm watching someone getting murdered I'm right now. I'm watching a cop get shot. Um, <laughs> and I remember like just f- like farting around by myself pretending I was like, not Steve Irwin, but something like that. Oh, interesting. And be like, oh, there, there's the the, blah, 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 the gorilla or whatever. That's really funny that you went Steve Irwin because I would have went James Bond. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. That's just who I would always, I would always pretend to be a spy when I was oh, a kid. Oh, that's cool. I wanted to be a spy really bad. I want to be a vampire. Yeah. It's not a job, but. No. It's a calling. <laughs> I, yeah. It is a title, I guess. Hi, Vampire Lopez. Hi, how are you? Mike, Michael Brucey, Vampire. Vampire Esquire. Oh. Yeah, being a spy is... Uh... Here's the thing. I see all those guys... I see all those, like, TikToks and stuff now of guys that are, like, spies who, like, work for, like, the FBI and CIA. You see TikToks of those? Yeah, there's, like, those... There's, like, that fucking guy who wears, like, the Survivor-style headband with the curly hair who tells you how to, like, do espionage. I've never seen this guy. Ah, uh, yeah. he's It's, like, he's fucking stinks. Yeah, when you realize that the people that become spies are just like hyper nerds, like hyper intelligent people. Yeah. They're mostly lame and they're meant to not be sexy because that stands out too much. Yeah, you look, everyone can really see you. They're meant to be kind of uh, oh, fuck. fill in the, the background kind of guys yeah. or girls. There could be girl spies. Hey, dude. They're called bitch. No, yeah. <laughs> spy. I, hey, dude, I just, I just got a really up? important email. Oh, sick, dude. So you remember the gun range we went to in New Jersey? I do with nickel. With nickel, Memorial Day sale, ten percent off all firearms. <laughs> Bye, everybody. We gotta do. The- hey, sorry, I gotta go buy a gun in New Jersey and somehow do- smuggle it back to New York in a legal way. We're gonna do a podcast in the gun range. Yeah, it's oh, be really fun. It'd be awesome. Pop. Should um, we do the? Energy oh drink? right, it's it's a regular episode. It's yeah. I'll be right back. I guess it's whatever. We can have this be whatever we want, but. Before it gets too late, let's chug an energy drink while the yeah. You want to go to the Patreon? Oh my god! <laughs> what an what an unbelievable thing! Hey everyone, it's the Sunday before Memorial Day, and it's a beautiful sunny day out. So we decided we'd like to podcast indoors. I did go to the park for a while. I was sitting out in the grass, dude. I was sitting in the grass of the park. Nice. Yeah. What if that's the whole story? <laughs> I was sitting at like a kid, little the way a little kid talks. I was sitting in the grass of the park, and I saw a bug, and yeah. I saw no, but, but I was sh- I was uh stop do- stop doing Why? that. I don't know. I don't like that. Why come you? Know, how come I can't be a muscle guy and you're you? Because you've always been a muscle guy. It's not new to you anymore. So it's still fun. Yeah, and that should be inspiring for you. That it gets still gets to be fun. I can't. Uh, nothing's inspiring. Got my legs out like a little, little um, schoolboy. I'm listening. But I was, you went I, to the park, sat in the grass, shirt off in the sun. Mm, oh, okay. Wow. It really feels unbelievable. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I wasn't videotaping it though. Nah, someone was. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's like when I got caught putting on chapstick that one time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the park. You were really putting chapstick I on. I was really putting shit. really putting chapstick on heavy, really big. Caking it on. Like, <laughs> like if, I was, if, it was, if it was lipstick, I would have looked like a, a, <laughs> a fucking, schizophrenic woman in a movie. You look like a fucking clown making his uh, debut uh, at yeah. the circus. <laughs> but dude, you know what I did the other day that felt was awesome? I was also at the park, sitting in the in the sun. Like a lizard does. Mm-hmm. Need the sun. Yeah, you need- but there was a, a a beautiful, I don't know what kind it was, but a beautiful little bird Okay, was next to me. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what, I really fed that motherfucker a lot of my apple. Oh, that's nice. In comparison to its body size. Sure. Not in comparison to the size of the apple. No, 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 no. Because no. I was like, I wonder if this bird likes apple. You wonder. And I gave him some. I assume him because he was cool. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> wasn't a fucking wasn't bitch. Bothering me. Wasn't a fucking bitch about it. But Birdie, it was awesome. Birdie. But I uh, uh, eventually it got to a part where I was like, I think I'm making the pieces of apple. I'm giving them too big. Oh yeah, he's I like, whoa. Got, he's like, oh, oh, oh. he was like, pick it up, put it back down. Yeah, fucking yeah. couldn't handle it. But I, I wish I knew what You're kind of giving bird. him a whole turkey size gift yeah. to him. <laughs> hey, I, I, I appreciate I, it, buddy. But Jesus, I wish I knew what kind of bird it was. Let's let's describe it. Small. Okay. Not an eagle. Boom. Not an eagle. We're already getting somewhere. Not no. a vulture. Not a vulture. Not a. Uh, I'd say palm palm size. Palm size. What color was it? Black with a little bit of red. Okay, that's pretty specific. Yeah. Black with a little red. And let's talk about the uh, bill. 
How much did it cost to feed this thing? Yeah. Um, well, the apple was, I'd say probably about six cents worth six of cents apple. apple. Okay, okay, okay. I'm saying it because the apple was probably a dollar. Let me see. I wonder if I could, we could actually find this. Short bill. A short bill. Pretty blood. short bill. Not like over, not like, that. it's not the defining characteristic of the bird. Pretty round head. Bird. Black. Red. Let's see. Yeah. One of these is? Hmm. Yeah, I think it was. We're looking at it's a bird. Is it a red winged black bird? Where are they? Yeah, are they are they native to New York? To the Northeast? Let's see, red winged black bird. Do you think you'll become a bird guy Never. as you age? No, I might. Black, black bird, NYC. One of the most common birds in North America, the red winged blackbird breeds in Prospect Park. Marine Park, Floyd Bennett Field, and other Brooklyn locations yeah. with marshy areas. So you saw yourself- A red-winged blackbird. A red-winged blackbird. Hey, everyone, if you've been following along on the uh, Which Birds Did Mike See list, throw <laughs> that one on there. Bird also, boxed. <laughs> yeah, you go. <clears throat> people also ask, is it rare to see a red-winged blackbird? It's one of the most abundant birds across <laughs> yeah. North America. No. Jesus Christ. Hey, what does it mean when you see one- Oh, because people oh. think they mean something. Protection, good luck, and even prosperity. Who people think seeing birds mean something? People think everything means something it's because really people's lives are small. That's embarrassing. My gra- my grand when my grandmother died. Yeah. Uh, she really loved cardinals. Red. The yeah, the bird, not the baseball team, or the guys in the church. One of the guys in the church. Yeah. <laughs> she hates those guys. She no, she really likes those guys, but she had she had her qualms with the Catholic Church, but. Now, anytime there's a cardinal around, people are like, "There's grandma." That's grandma, and I go, "No, it's a bird. It's a bird. <laughs> it's a bird. You're you're an idiot." It's like when someone, this guy that my family knew, died, and he had like a. Uh, it was weird. They made like a Nissan Sentra racing edition. I did not think that was gonna be the yeah. next sentence. Yeah. He, okay. They made, a, they made a Nissan Sentra racing edition, the SER. The SER is a good car. It's a fast car. Bright yellow. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly. I know exactly which one. So we drove one of those. Mm-hmm. Now every time they see a yellow car, oh, that's him. They go like it's a pretty rare color for a car. I go, I think it's one of the colors of a car. It's one of the colors. It's one of the colors that cars come in. Oh man, so any yellow car is him? Do you mean taxi cab? Yeah. <laughs> He's bus? all over Manhattan. School bus. School bus. Jesus. No. Yeah. Stanley Steamer van. I just go like, hey, you could just be like, I'm sad he died. I could. You could just be like, hey, I missed that fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I don't get it. People whatever. Are interesting. But hey, whatever. You know, you. Everyone deals with loss in different ways, or I don't care. Yeah, I let it go. Um, I, I don't want- dwell on it even a little. No, I don't dwell. I, I, I'm in my dwelling. I uh, yeah. With yeah. my best friend. Mm-hmm. And with you. We're all going to still... What the fuck? We're yeah, going to stop on by to the energy drink corner. Yeah. yeah. This is Lucky Fuck. Oh, God. Um, get lucky. Be lucky. This is a uh, care package from Cody. Thank you, Cody. Still. Thank you, Cody. Appreciate that. I'll, put the, I'll get the label close. This is Why apparently not? a small brand in Austin. Okay. So, you know. They're probably really funny. Yeah. Um. This is red. They, they brew it inside the comedy mothership. Yeah, it's, it's Joe Rogan's uh, energy drink. drink. No, he, you don't joke about that. You I'm like sorry. that one. He has a very, actually, ironically, a very good energy drink. Um. This is Red Rider Punch. Uh, zero sugar, zero aftertaste. How oh, rare to see that on a, 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 a can. Aftertaste. I, hey, but these people might know what the fuck they're talking about it's then. A big can. Five super ingredients. Crazy. Maca, ginseng, taurine, beta alanine, and caffeine. What are we talking about <clears throat> milligrams wise? Um, let me see. Where does it say milligrams? <laughs> Whatever. I'll read the poem first. Get lucky, be lucky. This is your one life. You're lucky as fuck to have another day. Time to live it. LFG energy keeps, no, turns you. LFG energy turns you. What? Oh, turn, I thought there was a period. There's more. There's turns more you on and inspires you to keep going. Sorry, the period jumped in my mind. Whether you're dealing with your 
pain in the ass boss dropping into a wave or cutting your lawn. Be grateful for another moment to kick ass in the game of life. I didn't. I the way you said it didn't sound like there was a comma there. So it was like dealing with your pain in the ass boss dropping into a wave. Like oh, this motherfucker, <laughs> Mr. Motherfucker, snake me again. And he won't give me my paint <laughs> time off. What the fuck is this shit? We crafted our products with beta alanine and maca for sustained physical and Penis. mental endurance. Maca. Life is complicated. Our energy drink isn't. Five super ingredients, zero sugar, zero aftertaste. Make Whoa. today the best day of your life. Then do it all over again tomorrow, Mister Lucky. <clears throat> It'd be so funny if they mean like zero aftertaste. It means like you taste it while you're sipping it and then immediately the flavor goes away. Yeah. Yeah. P.O. Box 609, Austin, Texas, 78767. 200 milligrams of caffeine per serving. And the serving is one can? The serving is, yeah, one can. Hmm. A lot of, a lot of juice, a lot of juice for 200 milligrams. You can get 200 milligrams in a way smaller container. I'll tell you that. Not necessarily a bad thing. No, I mean if this causes. But I'm much- like, but I'm like, if I want 200 milligrams of ca- if I'm drinking a ca- an energy drink, it's usually for the caffeine. Yes, so. And sometimes I'm like, I don't want to drink a fucking tall, a big tall boy. Just but if you to- like how it tastes. Well, because well, if, if this well, costs the well, same as a, as a smaller can with the same amount of energy of caffeine, yeah, that feels nice. Oh, look at me! I got a bunch of more liquid. Yeah, you got more liquid, but you didn't get more caffeine. The ingredient you want. Yeah, but it's equal, I'm saying. That's like getting a pair of pants and you're like, hey, I, I need a 30-inch inseam. And they're like, we'll, give, the we'll give you a 34 for the same price. <laughs> and you're like, well, I don't want that. It's not the same. I don't it's need that. It's absolutely not the same. I think it's exactly the same. It's and I think the it's, same at I all. I think it's actually a really unbelievable thing that I thought of almost uh, on the spot Smells immediately. Good. And I think I should be rewarded for that. I think it smells, like, it smells like fruit punch from like a school. Yeah. I like fruit punch, man. Yeah, man. That's this tastes like fruit punch. You ever? This is not a. Um, this is like a very New York thing. Nine eleven. Nine eleven. Yeah, nine eleven. Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani. Pizza pie. Pizza, pizza pie. Pizza pie. The, a rat. A big rat. Pizza rat. Mm-hmm. But no, you ever go to like a pizza place or like a deli or like yes, uh, I already know what you're saying or like a bagel place and you see like the fruit punch in like the thing that's bright red. Mm-hmm. This is what that's what this tastes like, that's and I love like. that. You, have that's you great. ever had the desire to drink that? Yeah, all the time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never know with you with stuff like that. That's a fair point. That's because sometimes you you're know. like, that's disgusting. Why would you ever do that's that? That's fair. That's fair. What about the what about the purple one? Do you ever see the purple one and you want it? I only see red and orange. I've never yeah, seen the purple. Yeah, the red is so good, dude. Yeah, the red. I don't know fantastic. what it's supposed to like. What brand it is? It's just fruit punch. <clears throat> it's Love just it. red. This is very nice. It's really nice. There you go. Yeah, it tastes like my. I think I've talked about it. My my dad, when I was a kid, worked at the garbage burning plant, mm-hmm. which is so. It sounds like a fake place, mm-hmm. but they had all this. I don't know. Sometimes they would just find stuff, uh, or like uh, stuff was getting thrown out, yeah, and they were just like, oh, yeah. whatever, yeah. But it was like boxes of this stuff. It was like. It was basically like in a, it was like a pouch, like a paper, like kind of like a Kool-Aid powder style pouch. So like the paper outside with kind of the metallic looking inside. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. So, like a fun dip pouch. Yes, like a fun dip pouch. But it was basically powder. But the whole point of it was you just put, it was the amount of powder and you just rip the top off and then you put water in the pouch and you drink it from the pouch. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. And they, they had a lemonade and a fruit punch and a grape. And this tastes like the fruit punch one exactly. This is making me think about that. Oh. But think about sitting on the counter in my kitchen, which was interesting because the counters were not really deep enough to sit on. So when you really be up against the cabinets, <laughs> it was really an interesting thing. But I desired to sit on the counter. You know the posture of someone trying to kidnap you when they put a gun in your back? Yeah. Like, oh. I had the desire to sit on the counter so much because I would see people sitting on counters in like movies and TV and be like, that looks cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's a pretty cool move. When I get to do it, it feels awesome. Yeah. No, I, I, I think you're absolutely. It, it tastes like the Correct. churning churning fruit punch, but with a little bit of uh, carbonation. A little bit of carbonation. This is quite nice. I think it's good. It's, I think this is good. It's nothing else, like out of this world. Like, whoa, yeah. I've never had this type of yeah, fruit, punch. Like fruit punch. It tastes just like fruit punch. Have you had fruit punch? This is what this tastes like. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go... I like the amount of caffeine. I like yeah. the taste. It's a little too much liquid for me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to lose my fucking mind, dude. <laughs> I was waiting to say that. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah, damn it. I'm going to give it 
3.85. Yeah, I want to give it 3.99. Yeah. It's not a four. It's not a four, but, but it's very good. It's very good. It's right underneath it. It's right under a four. Tastes really good. I'm going to be honest with you. I really like it. But I had a fruit punch. Uh, yeah, I'll take some more. I had a fruit punch flavor thing earlier already today. So I'm, I'm. Oh, you did? Yeah, I had a fruit punch C4. Oh, that's right. You told me about that. My friend tells me things. Yeah, I went. I got the fruit punch C4 in the black and red can. Very fun. And the guy at the deli was like, hey, you just so you know, these are more expensive than the other ones. And I go like, okay. Yeah, all right, man. Yeah, why are you trying to get me to spend less money at your deli? I guess I, I respect... Someone, you I, would been, someone would have been mad. Someone's been mad at him. Like, what the fuck? I bought this yesterday. So I no, 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 no. A, you bought the different color can yesterday. Yeah. There's less caffeine. That's a that's an important ingredient. It's true. And that costs it, money. It it it, it, bump, it bumps the cogs up. It pumps the cogs up, baby. Yeah. Cognizant. That's a C4 proprietary blend. Yeah, baby. We of, know all about proprietary I blends. I know so much about stuff that does Don't. Not. Get us started. Don't, don't baby. do it. Don't um, do so yeah, thank it. you again. Thank you again, Cody. Yeah. I believe. I think it was Cody. Why not? No, it's Cody. Cody. Thank you, Cody. Cody, how are you? You doing well? This I'm gonna talk good. to Cody for a second. Yeah, this is good. Don't I be have, weird. Let me just talk to Cody. I kind of have a stomach ache right now though. Oh. I think if you drink a little more, you'll feel better. I think I I don't think it could feel worse. I don't think you could. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could feel worse. That's awesome. I put an interesting amount of things in my body today. <clears throat> interesting array of things. Okay. Not a mount, just a ring. No, just Variances. An array. First thing I put in my body when I woke up, big Sour Patch Kids. Awful way to start the day. Really awful way to start the what day. Mean, big Sour Patch Kids. They make Sour Patch Kids that are bigger than you would expect. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Two flavors in one kid. Biracial. They make biracial sour. They make biracial they make sour bi- patch. They make kids? biracial sour patch. Wow, kids. I want to say a different word. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you want to say, but that's, that's that awesome. word is wrong. Uh, top to bottom or side to side? Top to bottom. Ah, they're making trans. No, no, they're not trans. They're just, no, damn it. No, they're doing. It's beautiful. Mixed that's beautiful. race. They're doing. They're mixed bigger race. though physically. Two times as big. It says it on the package. Two times as big. That's twice. It's twice as big. Wow, and you have uh, some more of them. No, I, I ate the leftovers this morning <laughs> ah, from last night. From last night. Last night, Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, I let them, I let them get a little, you know, hmm. put them in the fridge like a and, pizza. And, and, and maybe can I ask, did you order some from the internet to become to the home? No, but I, I'm sure I could find more. Oh, and, you can find more. I'm sure I could find, could more, find more and, get them, and get them here. Uh, it's not the last time I'm eating, I'm going to tell you that. Goddamn right. They're really good. That's all. Like they're that. flatter. They're taller, but they're flatter. That's, fa- that's all I've ever wanted in Flower Patch Kids. Yeah, and then here's the thing. If you eat two of these, you get four flavors at once. I don't think my mouth can even quantify it. <laughs> no, it's like fruit punch. <laughs> yeah, you I know just, what kind of fruit punch I love? Yeah. It's when it's fruit punch, but the label's blue. The liquid's Hawaiian red. punch, do you mean? Not, no. Like tropical, like blue, the blue, it's the blue label. Clamato is what you're thinking. The, it's the blue, <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of Clamato. <laughs> Truly one of the worst things I could ever imagine on the earth. I can't believe. Carbonated, I, I want car, I'm going to put Clamato in the soda stream. Yeah, yeah. See how that ends up. But no, it's like Kool-Aid fruit punch, but the label's blue, but the liquid's red. I don't know what you're That's talking That's crazy about. to me. Sounds uh, great. It sounds awesome because here's the thing. It is. I've had first hand experience and first tongue experience, and it's awesome. Okay. It tastes really good. It's you a want brand? Tra- no, it's, it's like a Kool-Aid is a brand, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm not asking is, is uh, whatever. Yeah. That sounds great, and I can't wait to try some. It's really good. Should we be drinking more big jugs of Kool-Aid in the house? No, we absolutely should oh, not be drinking. Crystal light. That's fine. It's light. Kool Aid inherently is not bad. It is on. Un- oh yeah, everyone just kind of adds too much sugar to it. But they, okay, here's the thing: the pow- the packets. Yeah. No sugar. The tubs. Oh, with the, the scoop. Tubs. The sugar. Little pl- semi opaque mm-hmm. white spin off yep. things that look like bullets. Yep. One of the strangest. I love it. Packaging things. Something about it in my hand that makes me feel. I feel like, like I could nothing. fucking chuck it hard. Dude, I bet I could throw it so oh. fucking hard. It'd be awesome. I turned to that fucking uh, Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite whenever I have one of those Kool-Aid tubs in my hand. Dude, I, was, I don't know Go why. Go long. I was, whenever I see one of those like 
outdoor dining things that's like wood on the bottom and kind of like the rigidy plastic on the side. Yeah. Like almost looks like vinyl siding, but it's clear. I'm like, I want to throw a softball at that <laughs> as hard as I can. There's nothing I want to do more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to I want to sit there. I want to wa- I want to I want to warm up somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then yeah, I want to yeah. go on the corner with a jacket on just like one arm. Yeah, I got a jacket on one arm and then I get a softball one of the one of the neon The neon ones. Like Those the are ha- sick. the ha- the high vis softball. Yeah, cuz you want to make sure you can see it. Mm. Because it's bigger, so I think it'll make a bigger noise. But I think I can throw a baseball faster. Absolutely. That's the whole point of a softball. You can't throw it that fast. It's bigger. It's easier to hit. Can you do... How long do you think it would take you to be able to do a pretty good softball pitch? Like the wind-up underhand... Uh, Probably two weeks? Four hours? (laughs) Pretty good or decent? What's the delineation between those two? Pretty good. I'm on a team. Decent. I'm showing off for people at the park. With a bunch but of friends if, hanging out. But if people, if people who know see you do that, oh. when you're decent, people who go like, "Oh, he's all right," but when you're pretty good, that's like people are like, "Whoa, did you play softball?" Oh, whoa, for some reason? yeah. Hey, did you, you know, do your softball coach did, or something? Did you do a switch? Um, it'll take me a while. Yeah, it's not a movement I'm necessarily good at. Okay, that fucking weird. And my yeah. shoulder hurts still. It's gotten a lot better. Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking whip so it. Strange. Yeah. They fall into it too. It's, it's really interesting to see. It's funny because I, I like I like when rules are made to hold something back so that you pitch underhand so it's not too fast. Yeah. And then people are like, well, what if I spin it all the way around? Like, oh fuck, come on! Don't. Yeah. The whole point was so you don't do it too fast. But they figured and they found it out. a way. Yeah. Just like Jurassic Park. Exactly like life finds a way. Um, but this energy drink is very nice. Yeah, it's good. So I bottoms like up it. if you live in Austin, Texas, I guess. Yeah, I guess get this and some brisket. Yeah. Dude, I saw people waiting in line to eat barbecue yesterday. No. Maybe it is. I was like, oh, I'm going to kill myself in front of you guys, actually. Yeah, I'm going to just start. Dude, there's. I'm going to get a paintball gun and just fucking go at it. Is there pit up, pit up, pit up, pit up. any food that is worth waiting in? In a decently lo- length of time line. Give me number, minute wise. 30 minutes. Mm. Uh, I've waited for tables for that long, but not like in a line. Yeah, I'm talking standing in a line to get it. I've waited. Remember Cinnamon Snail? Yeah. Cinnamon Snail, if you don't know, um, was a food truck here in New York City and New Jersey, technically. Yeah. And they had, they made really good food. They made really, really good really sandwiches liked it a lot. and really fucking good baked goods, like donuts. I remember we got it outside of Pine Box one day. We they went started going to Pine Box for the vegan chop up. Yes, and I'm like, I'm waiting. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, it was never more than fifteen minutes. Fifteen, I think, is fine. Mm. But like, that's the only thing I've ever really waited in line for. Because yeah. one truck, and they're only in the city once in a while, and and they used to only go to Manhattan. I would like sometimes like go to Manhattan. Yeah. To find this fucking truck and they'd move around. Yeah. And this is where Twitter was like, not first starting, but like. They would be like, hey, we're. We're at blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hey, where are you guys? Like, we moved. Like, say it, you will fucking move then. Yeah. But it was so good. It was so good. I would get this like seitan sandwich. Yeah. I can't remember what it was called or what was on it. Like barbecue-y. Kind of. I can't remember. I can't even remember. Yeah. Hickory? I don't know. Let me try, you keep talking. Let me try to see if I can find it. I would get this it. fucking seitan sandwich that was so good. It was like arugula, or if you're British, rocket. Uh, I love Seitan rocket. and some kind of like paste smear thing that was delicious. And they had these donuts, man. They were um, covered in uh, like chocolate cookie crumble kind of a thing. Oh, I think it was called the Hulk Hogan. Oh my God, man. I'm so mad. And then they opened a storefront in... In Madison Square Garden, Madison Square Garden had this like, um, like food court, food court, food hall thing attached to it, and they were there. And the food once it was in there, it declined a little bit. Yeah, it wasn't as good, but it was still good. And the fact that you can get it whenever you wanted it made it really cool. And man, some of those baked goods were unbelievable. They had really good savory baked goods. This like I fucking love seitan tart with a. I think an eggplant s- sauce, something. I don't know. Yeah. God damn it. I'm so mad right now. There's no good vegan food enough in New York City. <laughs> Dude, it really sucks. It really is strange right now how bad vegan food in New York City is. Like, I don't even think about going to restaurants anymore. Like, 
superiority burger. Um, and that's all I can think of. I think of places that have vegan food. Yeah, but I can't think of 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 a uh, uh, completely vegan. And even superiority burger is a fucking vegetarian restaurant, not even a vegan restaurant. But it's right next to confectionery, which is awesome. But man, I should have bought their shirt. Cinnamon Snail. Cinnamon Snail had this like uh, Animal Liberation Front esque style shirt where it's like dudes in balaclavas. Um, yeah, and it's like empty every bakery case. I don't know. It's like a joke yeah. about the uh, animal rights. Animal rights liberation. Wait, animal life. Animal Liberation Front. Animal Liberation Front. They're very aggressive. Yeah. Militant. I'm trying to find. I can only see the the menu for the restaurant. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I just thought I was like, yeah, maybe I can. F- it's very good though. Yeah. Damn, good times. The Korean barbecue seitan. No. no. That no. wasn't. That wasn't the one I would get. I remember looking at it, and be like, I don't. I'm gonna get the one thing I. Re- I'm gonna makes get me the really one happy. thing that's awesome. I'm gonna get the one thing that makes me really fucking happy every time I eat it, and I get that and a donut and then a donut for later, which would be about four minutes after the first donut. <laughs> Thai barbecue tempeh. No. Maple mustard tempeh sandwich. That's it. it. Maple mustard tempeh on grilled spelt bread with roasted garlic aioli, kale, tomato, and onion. Yeah, that was awesome. That was one of the two sandwiches I would get. Yeah. That one was on like a sliced bread, and that was pretty good. Not the most filling, but there's a seitan one that was nuts good. Lemongrass five spice seitan? I think so. Yeah, it was a little bit spicy. With... Curried cashews, arugula, yep. and wasabi mayonnaise on a grilled baguette. That's it. Oh, my God. It was so good. <gasps> Cinnamon snail, how could you leave us when we needed you most, when I'm hungry right now? Yeah, when, I'm, when I want that. Is there other good vegan restaurants? I can't think of any. Um, uh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Spicy Moon. Yes. Um, You haven't been to that place, Anixie, yet. No. I went there with Jess. It's like a, it's kind of fancy in a really ugly way. It looks like it would be in Vegas. Okay. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Yeah. It's like a Mediterranean restaurant, but they had this crazy, it's crazy. It's kind of expensive. We should go there. It's really nice. Yeah, let's do that. It is so ugly and it's so gaudy <laughs> in there. It's really, I it love looks that. like, like a, a white immigrant father's <laughs> idea of fancy. Okay. Fair. Like Greek or Italian or something like a kind of guy like that. Yeah. 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 Like a like a What's spice. It called a Nixie. A Nixie. I don't even know what that it's is. It's kind of Greek esque. All right. They have this thing, which is crazy. It's like you know, at restaurants. If you're not wearing a, a like a coat, like a jacket, they make you wear one. Yeah. But if you're not wearing enough cologne, they go, oh, sorry. They make you dress. They make you dress like the magicians who steal the jacket in Seinfeld. <laughs> in Seinfeld, yeah. That's what you had to dress like. The white vest, the white shirt, the vest, and a goatee. Uh. Yeah. Whatever. Do they have this? Oh man, no! The, show me the show me the goods. Should be a pizza night. What are you feeling? Um, no, you feeling? no? I'm not okay. feeling pizza. That's night. okay. I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling a little heavy. Okay. I had a big meal earlier. Meal guy. Oh, you did have a big meal. I watched you. Yeah, I had three big ass tacos and a bunch of fucking sweet potato fries. You like them that burnt? Sweet potato fries? Yeah. No, I've been having an issue because they're. I've kind of had those ones in the freezer for a while, so they're a little uh, like wet. Sorry. No, it's okay. I don't, but I like them. I would rather them for, um, sweet potato fries. I'd rather them be a little burnt than a little floppy. Oh, okay. I think I'm on the other way. I'm on the other side of yeah. the fence there. Because I already don't like. Oh, you know what I miss? Mao is it Mao's the, the falafel place? Is, yeah, it doesn't exist. They anymore, don't exist anymore. They had really great sweet potato fries. A falafel yeah. pita with hummus. And sweet potato fries fucking is a banging little lunch. Banger yeah. of a little lunch. Uh, egg. Eggy. I egg. miss cinnamon snail and I miss soy and sake. So a Nixie makes so this much. thing. It's like, that's supposed to be like egg. Okay. It's it looks like, like it. It's like, yeah. And it feels like it. Okay. And tastes like it. Show it's people. like. It's like a cheesy bread uh, kind of Greek pizza-esque thing. Mm-hmm insane and they have like a bunch of like like that i got these two kind of like steak kebab type things yeah really good dude. okay and you liked it 
Really fucking good. Yeah, I went okay. there. It was a little expensive, but like thing where I was like, oh, whatever. I know that. I know that it's going to be a little expensive. Yeah, that's fine. If yeah. it's a little expensive and it's like quality, like, okay, whatever. Good quality and it's like good, like you get like real restaurant service. That's, yeah, dude. Places that yeah. are ABCV. Like, ABCV is very nice. Yeah. Ooh, maybe I'll go there. Yeah. But like a Nixie is like, and they have an Italian restaurant I haven't been to yet, but I think it's the guy who started Beyond Sushi. Started oh, these. that guy. Yeah. I mean, I talked to that guy once. Really? He was in... Uh, was he saying, can you get out of the kitchen? You don't work here? Can you get out of the fucking kitchen? Stop, no. Stop grabbing your penis in the kitchen <laughs> in, a, in a way like a little kid who has to pee like this. Yeah, like it squeezes it like it's a tube of fucking toothpaste. Yeah. Um. No, when I was next to our beauty bar, I'm like, oh, I got to do a show, but I'm hungry. Yeah. There's a fucking vegan sushi spot literally next door. Uh, I ate some, and I can't remember what I was wearing. I think I was wearing like a MA shirt or something. He yeah. asked me a question, and I was like, shut the fuck up. Shut uh, up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. Uh, but no, he was I'll very knock nice. knock you around a little bit. He's very nice. Yeah. Did you ever go to uh, Soy and Saki? Mm, not with you. No. Maybe I did once. Damn, dude. Soy and Saki was awesome. We got to go to for old times. We t- I think we said it before. We got to go to Red Bamboo. Bamboo. We got to go to Red Bamboo is a, for Love old times it, sake. First vegetarian restaurant I ever went to. Yeah. I would get. I would. Same. I would, Dream about that chicken parm sandwich. Dude, it's so funny to be like, yeah. Yeah, that thing. Uh, uh, Maywa chicken. Yeah. In some shitty bread. But, and dude, the roti canai. Ch- dude, the roti canai fucks. It's so good. The one from Dow Palette is good enough. It's okay, yeah. It's fine enough. It doesn't Can't hit, order an extra crepe, It's though. a little too watery, I think. It is a little too watery, it's a little watery. yeah. Throw a little flour in there. <laughs> a little thickener, and it's all good. Dude, I got a pizza last night, and it showed up cold. Oh. <gasps> You ordered pizza and it showed up cold? Yeah, it really took a long time for someone to come pick it up, for someone to go pick it up. Man, that's upsetting. Yeah, but it was one of those things where it was like, hey, do you want to throw this in the oven? We can warm it up. And I was like, no. Why? I've already waited too long. But you, what do you And I'm hungry. Two more minutes? I couldn't wait two more minutes. Oh. Because it's it's well, you have to wait for the oven to heat up. Yeah, but it's, since it's already cooked, it's not like you have to get wait to get super yeah, top I'm tier. like, you know what? I'll eat the cold pizza. Don't care. Mm. Would rather. I was bummed. Yeah, but that means you do to care. Didn't care enough to wait more okay. than I was already had to have to had I to, to wait. make sure you're not doing the thing where you're like, no, I want to be mad. No, I was just already like, I've already waited too long. Waited. It's just fine. Give just give me it. I'm fucking just give hungry. Give me the food. Where from? Two boots. I will never eat two boots. Here's the thing, though. It's a it's a it's a pizza they never have out, and it's pretty good. Okay. It's like a pesto with chicken and like greens on it. I don't love pesto, and, I, and, and Here's famously, the thing. It's, it's it's every time I order it, I go like, "This is gonna be just fine." Okay, it was also like late, so it's like not a lot of options. Not a lot of options. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, it got darker. Yeah, really. Time, time passed. passed. Hmm. Classic. I wish our I wish our hair changed to gray, and we started glasses. wearing glasses <laughs> and a cardigan sweater to show that time has passed. To show that time has passed. Yeah. Um. I. Uh, we were just watching a hockey game. Yeah, a little, I was watching a hockey game. I was uh, in and out. You were in and out. Uh, watched Rangers and the, the Panthers game three. Rangers won in overtime. Yeah, I am. I'm. Here's the thing. Ah. There's four teams left. Okay, and I'm rooting for all of them to a degree. Obviously, you know, you know whatever. Yeah, Wait, who's left? So I'm rooting the most for the Panthers. Yeah, the Florida Panthers because. You're from Florida. I'm some, from South Florida. I'm from literally three minutes away from the arena. That's why my last uh, apartment in South Florida is three minutes away. It was in Sunrise? It was in Plantation. That's bad name. I'm sorry. I'm not, I didn't name it that, but it was, it was right on the cusp of Sunrise. Um, and so I'm, I'm rooting for the Panthers first because I used to live there and they've never won a cup. Yeah. I'm rooting for the Rangers second. Because I live here, and mm-hmm. they haven't won a cup in a while. And since 94. 94. <clears throat> and on West Coast, we have Edmonton versus Dallas. I'm rooting for Dallas third most. Yeah. Because Joel Pavelski is a very good hockey player, and he's never won a cup. And he deserves it. Yeah. And they haven't won one in a long time, right? They haven't won one since 99. Yeah. And then fourth, I'm rooting for Edmonton. Because a Canadian team hasn't won the cup in a long time, and Connor McDavid's the best player in the world, and I think it'd be good for the sport. For the best player in the world to have a for the, for a, a big market team and the best player in the world. To, is Edmonton to a big market team? To a, yeah, yeah, 
Okay, I because of because, him and Drysidel. Because it's it's like a legendary team. Like they've been. Okay. A, I don't know if Big Mark is the right word. Um, but big a, a, name a franchise. A historic franchise, yeah. I should say. Not one of the original six. But, not not original six, but, but they haven't won a cup since Gretzky. Yeah. Um. Real. I'll I'll say or this. Or Messi, I guess technically. Real dog shit town. I've never been. You've told I've, me. I've been disgusting there. Disgusting and ugly. Gray. Really gray. I could even point to it on a map. It's above like Montana. It, okay, that's what I was guessing. I was yeah, guessing over, over there. there. Yeah, I was. I'm like, it's definitely not Vancouver level West Coast. No, it's in it's the not, it's in like the plains. Okay, it's right up in the plains. Yeah. Yeah, they're like always psyched about like oil rigs or some shit. I don't. They, know. They, uh, uh, that's the thing. That's the job because it's not even in Edmonton. You have to go like hours north. I had a girlfriend who lived in Edmonton, and then when we broke up. Uh, she started dating a a guy who worked on oil rigs and definitely was addicted to drugs. And he and he took one of my t shirts that I left there. Motherfucker, dude! I still think about that. I t-shirt. am not rooting for the Edmonton Oilers. Fuck the Edmonton Oilers! I want my fucking iron lung shirt back. Okay, fuck you, it, dry side. You know what? It wouldn't even fit me anymore because I'm so skinny so and sexy. Skinny and but I still svelte. want it back because I can cut it into a tank top or something. Uh huh. He loves him. You have any, you have no idea how many little cut off shirts this fucking guy has. Now. I got a lot now. <laughs> I cut I cut my no, my my no violence shirt into a tank top. You're not the only one. Really? I don't know. Uh, no. So no. I can wear it all summer. All sexy. Sexy. No violence. And where, where, and where could you get one for yourself? I don't know. Noviolence.com. Um, there you go. Uh, Watch the game. Got upset. And lightly. Not really. I don't really nah, care. you yelled fuck when they won. I was hoping for the Panthers. Yeah. They've never won one. Yeah, they're a team from Florida. Tampa's won three. Well, it's weird that they did okay. that. Okay, and I, I'm glad you admit that. It's weird. I, they, and look, may I applaud you for a second time on this episode? <laughs> and it's it's weird that they did that. And it's weird that they did that. Tampa Bay, one of the worst places in this country. I hate it. <laughs> you know what though? Last time I was there, I had a pretty good burrito. Oh, I had a pretty good burrito around the place from the around the corner from the club. Still the worst Seven Eleven in the world. Top God, five. I fucking hate that 7-Eleven worst 7-Eleven so much in the world. E- what we we're the Ebor, Ebor City, Ebor City, the Ebor City 7-Eleven, one like of it. the worst 7-Elevens in the world. How do I feel unsafe here while there's cops? It's crazy. Hey Israel, drop, drop a nuke on that fucking dude, place for yeah. us. Why, oh my you? God, dude! Piece I would. Shit. I'll I'll Both join. I'll join the IDF <laughs> if I can only attack the Ebor City 7-Eleven. Across the street from whatever the club is, a funny whatever bone or an improv. I don't remember what it is. Weird. But awful. Yeah. Um, I played some hockey. You played some hockey. I had my games. Thursday or Wednesday? I had both. I'm double, on two teams. Double header. Them. That's what I call two games, two days two in games a row. Two games, two days in a row. Double header. Uh, Wednesday, I played with my normal team, my purple team. Yeah. We won in overtime. Real close game. Yeah. I got one of the worst goals I've ever scored in my life. Hey, goal's a goal, brother. Uh, goal's a goal because I... I I tried to get like a, a, a an outlet pass, meaning I was going to get a breakaway. Yeah. But the puck went to the corner, and I was the first one there, and I just kind of shot at the goalie from a tight angle, but I whiffed it. So I only caught a little bit of the puck, and yeah. so the goalie's expecting a 95-mile-an-hour wrist shot, yeah, and course. just 10-mile-an-hour puck just slides between his legs, and it counts. Um, That's actually a pretty good... <clears throat> if you could control that If you more. could control that. It's really hard to control. Yeah. And then on Thursday... I played with my other team, and we were really shorthanded. We had just five skaters. Yeah. So there's four guys on the rink, one guy there. One guy taking a break. So, like, they had nine skaters. They should give you one. They should give us one. Um, and they're a pretty good team, but I scored a, I scored a really nice goal on that game. Yeah. One-timer from the slot, meaning right in the middle. Okay. I just fucking, bop, right away. Wham, right between the goalie's legs. Yeah. I gave him a nice, woo! Um, I scored a nice goal, and then... The goalie robbed me worse than any goalie has ever robbed me in my entire life. Where I I got a a drop pass and the goalie was like over looking left. Yeah. And I have a, I have a basically completely wide open net, completely wide open net. I'm like I just right away just hit it and he the goalie's still looking to his right, and he sticks his arm out and it just goes right into his glove. Fuck. And it made it made such a loud noise. My teammates on the bench thought it went in and hit the back bar. Oh. But I was like no, I got robbed. And then I laughed. It was a great save. I laughed and tapped the goalie in the head. I'm like, that's a fucking fantastic save. And he yeah. laughed at it too. Nice and easy. Hey, I'm not mad. Okay, hey. I love hockey. Shut yeah. up. 
What, are you going to get mad? I'm not going to get mad. Get mad that that guy's good? No, he did a good job. They won the game. Yeah. It was all wet in the rink, too, because it rained that day. Uh, it was a chaos. Yeah. No, thanks. I didn't play any hockey this you week. You didn't play any hockey? I was going to check and see. Yeah. I nope. wanted to make sure you knew I was waiting to see if you played any nope. hockey. Not a second. Not, not a one second? second of hockey this week. That's okay. Hey, everyone. Well, we appreciate Thank you. if you did play any hockey and if you listen to this episode. And if which you did, you're listening yeah. to me now. Of course you listen also. to the episode. Um, thank you so much. Uh, that's Micah Brucey. Follow Micah Brucey at Micah Brucey. That's Diego Lopez. Follow this Diego Lopez. Follow A Little Time Pod. Yeah. On Instagram and Twitter at A Little Time Pod. And you can also sign up for our Patreon for four bonus episodes a month. Four more hours of us yeah. being best friends right in your fucking face at patreon.com backslash A Little Time Pod. Five dollars or more. Gets you four hours and and and, and video of all eight episodes a week before everyone else. Mm-hmm. So you get to watch a video of the regular episodes before everyone else. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I'll go in there and just say hi to everybody. But we appreciate you. Thank you so much. That's it. That's it. Uh, yeah. All right. No. Oh yeah. Uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa and Salt Lake <laughs> in June. Bye bye. Bye.